What's up guys, Jake here, and in this video I'm back bringing you guys another Call of Duty commentary. I haven't done one of these in quite some time, but I saw something the other day that I found particularly interesting to me, so I figured I would share that with you guys today. And uh, that is Microsoft adding backwards compatibility to the Xbox One. Now I'm extremely excited about this feature for a multitude of reasons, one being that, you know, as a you know, an avid Call of Duty fan, although I'm not a huge fan of the games that are on the Xbox One, ironically. You know, as a, a Call of Duty fan, you know, well, when the series was uh, just kicking off, really, uh, I really enjoy a lot of the older Call of Duty games, Black Ops being my favorite. And the only thing that really prevents me from playing those games all the time is, you know, having to switch to the Xbox 360 all the time. Uh, but with the backwards compatibility, this gives me the opportunity to play those games as well as other games that I've enjoyed playing. Uh, and play them on my next-gen console. Now, they're not going to look any different, really. I mean, they might look a little bit different depending on if you used uh, HDMI ports or you used, like, AVI cables or whatever. I think that might make a difference, but the games aren't really going to look or play any different, but just the fact that you can play them on your next-gen console is a really big deal to me, especially because the way that Xbox and Microsoft are implementing this system, it's not like other, you know, consoles where they had backwards compatibility where you could just play the game because it had the same hardware. Uh, the Xbox One does not contain the same hardware as the 360, so uh, the way they have to do this is you, when you put your disc in, it'll have to download a portion of the game just so, like, it can recognize it, I guess, and then it'll uh, basically set you up with like an emulator so you you're basically playing the Xbox 360 when you're playing it which is really cool because uh, that allows you to play online games uh, I, I, one thing I was concerned about is the fact that you know uh, different companies might not want to pay for more servers for the Xbox one version I guess but because it's just emulated you get to play on the same servers and you can play with your friends who are on their Xbox 360s uh, from your Xbox One, which is really cool. It also gives you the option to use the Xbox 360 uh, dashboard, which I think is a lot better anyway. And uh, not only that, it lets you do all of that while still retaining the features from the Xbox One, like recording and screenshots and all that cool stuff. So I think it's a pretty big deal, especially for me. I like to make these kind of videos. And uh, now I can record all of these older games as well, like the, you know, Modern Warfare 2s, the Black Ops. All that stuff, I can record them now with, uh, you know, a lot of ease and and be able to upload these older Call of Duty games for you guys, as well as a lot of other games. And I think it's really going to revive a lot of older 360 games. Now, I don't know this for a fact, but, you know, being a big Bioshock fan, Bioshock 2 multiplayer was really fun for me to play, but nobody really plays it. But now I can really see, like, a lot of these older 360 games having more players playing them from the Xbox One than the 360, which I think is pretty cool. I think it's just, I think it's a really big deal. I mean, especially for somebody like me, as well as other people, you know, if you're somebody who uh, didn't get an Xbox One, uh, or you don't have an Xbox 360, or, you know, something like that, and you wanted to play some of these other games, now you can do that. You don't need the Xbox 360 system to do that, and it's just really, really awesome feature. I think it's probably the single most uh, excited or rather the single feature I'm most excited about uh, from E3 that I saw so let me know if you guys are interested in this as well I like I said I think it's really awesome I can't wait to be playing on my uh, you know older games and uh, yeah so this comes out in the fall for everyone and uh, hope to see you guys back on the old Call of Duty servers this has been Jake and I'll see you guys later peace